my beauties, it is Cara the Bubble Lush. So my July unboxings are really late because I was away on vacation. I had the post office hold all of my mail and I have a huge box here full of like, I got, I got Citrus Lane and Darby Smart and Julep and there's Kiwi Crate, there's all sorts of stuff. But there's also my Ipsy bag and my brush box. These are both still in the bag boxes, totally sealed. I have not looked, I have no idea what's in here. So this should be actually a really fun unopening, unboxing, unbagging. Okay, let's get to it. Ipsy first. Okay, first off, I, I redeemed some of my points and got this little, uh, I don't know what this makeup case. <laughs> um, a while ago from Influencer, they sent me some Mary Kay stuff and it was, it needed like a magnetic case to hold it in because it was just the pans. It wasn't like a case for it. So I got this thinking maybe I could put some of my Mary Kay makeup in here. Um, it's a little blush and a bronzer and I use them all the time. So hopefully they'll fit in there and that'll work. Hopefully. All right. The actual... Ooh, cute. I actually saw like this bag. Um, I haven't, I don't know any of the products for the month, but I saw the little hint of the bag. It is way more fluorescent in real life than I thought it was, uh, but very, very cute. Very cute. It's like kind of stitched together pleather in a way. Okay. And just a soft lining, nothing, no big deal. All right, what's in here? First off, we have got um, Jojoba Skin Smoother Gel Cream. Hmm. Instructions, hydrate skin following intense physical activity. Massage onto skin, repeat several times daily as necessary. Intense physical activity. I should have had this when I was like hiking in Yellowstone. That would have been perfect. Okay, next up we've got, oh. <laughs> now if you watch June's unboxings, you will know that Oh, I believe it was Birchbox. Yeah, that would make sense. Birchbox did the benefit their real mascara sample. And this month, um, Ipsy has the sample. That's cool. I'll always take more samples of this because this is my favorite mascara hands down. So, excellent. If you're not familiar with the benefit their real mascara, you should be. It is fantastic. If you want to try it out, I'm pretty sure Ulta has like a $10 sample, which is similar in size to this. And I think the full size is like 27 ish. So it's just a great mascara that goes on and makes your lashes look longer and fuller than they normally would, but it doesn't look glumpy at all. So it's just a really great mascara. You know, I thought that this hairdo was gonna be great. I did like a French braid from the side and it's like swooping back into a bun. I just look like a boy. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, right? All right, moving on. Tense and Sass by Elizabeth Mott Cherry. It's already halfway open, that's always nice. Oh, a lip and cheek stain. So I'm always super scared to use these on my cheeks because I feel like it's gonna go crazy. Um, but I have used a lip tint before, but it's had like a, it had a weird flavor to it. Like it tasted strange. Actually kind of like sour in a way. So let's see. I have a weird lipstick on, so we might as well just put this on. It smells really good. Hmm. All day lip and cheek color that will kick some sass, apparently. Cute, it's a nice size. I don't even know if this is a sample. It looks kind of full size to me. But anyways, even if it is just a sample, that'll last a long time. And then what else do we got? Um, Hang 10 Dark Tanning Oil. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about tanning oils. I've never really used them before. Maybe I should. I tend to just kind of embrace my fair skin and use a bronzer when necessary. Meh, I don't hate it, don't love it. Oh goodness, I thought that this was a perfume, but it's not. It is a Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow. Cool. Let's rip you open. Hmm, what color did I get? So there's all these different colors. And I got, who knows? I don't know, no clue. Does it say somewhere? Okay, well, I have no clue what color this is, but let's open it up. Ooh, that is a brown. It goes on fairly thick, fairly dark. I guess it wouldn't be that bad if I was going for a more dramatic look. Let's see, what is this um, long wear color? It primes, it brightens, it smooths the delicate eye skin, and it protects with an SPF 15 mineral sunscreen. 
I mean, SPF 15 isn't going to do a whole lot, but that's cool. It says it'll last uh, 12 hours and it's got a built-in primer. So that's kind of neat. Okay, and so that's it. So in this month's Ipsy bag, we got um, a Bare Minerals eyeshadow. And this is a sample, but this honestly, this probably would last quite a while because it's just eyeshadow and you're not gonna use a ton. And then we've got um, a dark tanning oil, the lip and cheek stain, which is pretty cool in color cherry. The Benefit there, Real Mascara, which is always well received. And then this kind of weird skin smoother jojoba oil gel cream. Okay, let's open Birchbox. So last week Birchbox really did a great thing. They, they threw in the uh, Benefit mascara that we just saw um, and they actually earned a lot of points. They came really close to beating Ipsy. Ipsy still, I think, won uh, the June unboxing but it was a really good box last month. So let's see if they're keeping up the momentum Ugh. and <laughs> if the July birch box will be really good. Okay, so they've teamed up with Women's Health. This is a fun little box. Look at how colorful that is. All right, you open it up. A special bonus for birch box members, a one year subscription, 10 issues to Women's Health magazine valued at $10. So I, sent this in last year and I've been getting the magazines and I just came up with like this was one of your last issue so perfect timing I'm excited it really is a good magazine so that's awesome let's get to the actual product shall we so this is what the box looks like I always like to open this little guy first cute color Ooh. let's see Okay, so first we've got a Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette sampler, Ballerina. This is very cool. I actually have never tried any Coastal Sense product. I know I'm probably the last one on the face of the planet. Um, oh, these are cute. And like the name Ballerina implies, they kind of have a pink ballerina tone to them. Um, just four little samples, but they're in a pan. That's pretty nice. Let's see if we can get this opened with minimal spillage. Those are cute colors. I actually really like to use purple eyeshadow because I have green eyes, so I think it, they work well together. And these, although they're like pink, they actually do have a lot of purple tones to them. So I think they'll be really easy to use in like day-to-day -day eyeshadow looks. Right now I've been using a lot of browns and golds and champagnes, so I'm kind of itching to mix it up a little bit, and I think this is a good way to go. Okay, then uh, next up in there, let's just grab this. This is the Marcel 8-in-1 Power Serum for all skin types, new age precision. This is actually really great. I've just been using the Marcel BB Cream, which I thought was gonna be way too dark, and I actually was not very excited when I received it, but I tried it out. It blends beautifully, and now that I've gotten just a little bit of sun, it works really well with my skin tone, so I actually do like the Marcel BB Cream that I received a couple months ago. So I'm excited to use this one as well. This is the Power Serum under, let's see, apply morning and night alone or under makeup onto well cleansed face and neck. So it's a serum for your face and your neck, eight in one. Let's see what this says in here. This peptide pack anti-aging gel hydrates, firms, lifts, and plumps fine lines. Once a day, smooth over a clean face and neck, you'll see results in just one week of use. So it's kind of like an opaque, it actually looks like, and kind of feels like Smashbox's primer. Um, it has a kind of cloudy gel look to it, um, but it doesn't feel as silicone-y. But it does blend out really nicely on my hands, so I think it'll go under makeup really well. And it has kind of an aloe vera smell to it, just a little bit. Which is very fresh, I mean it doesn't stink, it doesn't smell like chemicals or anything. It smells really nice actually. Alright, next up we have got... hmm... Let's see, the Real Chemistry Luminous 3-Minute Peel. This acid-free peel gently exfoliates for instantly softer, smoother, brighter skin. Apply to a clean face, wait 30 seconds, and massage to slough off dry, dull skin. Rinse away. Cool. I actually really love peels. I think that they're kind of a fun little thing to do. Um, I'm a mom. I have two young children, and so sometimes I just feel tired at the end of the day. And a good peel, I think, just revitalizes the skin and makes it look great. So I've spent the past two weeks camping, sleeping in people's guest rooms, um, lots of sun exposure to my skin. So I feel like I really need to hit the reset button and like hydrate, 
my kids are screaming up there. Sorry if you can hear that. Um, but anyways, I feel like I need to like hydrate and rejuvenate my skin a little bit. It's, it's tired. <laughs> so it is really tired from vacation. So I think that this would be really fun to use this peel. And again, this is by Real Chemistry. It is their luminous three minute peel. Who doesn't have three minutes to do a little face peel? That's fun. Okay. Face peel actually sounds really gross. Don't you think? That kind of sounds gross. Okay, then we have got, hmm, I don't know how to pronounce this, N-A-O-B-A-Y. Naube? Nobe? I don't know. Uh, but it is a body radiance lotion, full size is $24, which is crazy. This Spanish favorite uses olive oil and avocado to naturally hydrate and soften skin. Massage generously into skin, focusing on dry patches like elbows and knees. So this is moisturizer for your body, which is again, really good. My legs got a ton of sun because um, I put them up on the dash while we were driving. So my feet and legs got a ton of sun exposure while we were out and they're pretty dry actually. So um, the body radiance lotion, I think this will be great. I'll probably use this on my arms, elbows, legs, ankles, that sort of thing. So cool. Let's see if it smells good though. Ooh, it has like a lemony kind of smell to it. Oh, that actually smells really good. And this is a pretty generous sample. Granted, it's for use on the body, so you're going to use more of it than if it was just a face product. So I would expect them to have a larger sample just so you could kind of get a couple uses out of it and really see if you like the product. But, but a one ounce sample, that's, that's pretty nice. Okay, and then the last thing in the box is actually two things. I wonder if they meant to give me two. I am very familiar with this brand. It's called Beauty Protector. I've received tons of their hair products, shampoos, conditioners, leave-in conditioners, all sorts of stuff. Um, so, and I always like the smell of it. Ooh, so we should totally s smell this. Okay, this is a treatment mask, which is great. Ooh, it's, mm. I don't know what it is about this brand, but their stuff smells so good. Smell it, guys. It's like pink, which is always cute. I love pink products. Oh my god, it smells so good. So they included two, and I think that these are the same, yeah, treatment mask. So that's cool. I guess they knew my hair like really needed a mask. <laughs> okay, so that's it. This was actually a really good box. We got the, um, the treatment mask for your hair, right? Everything is for the hair usually with this, so it's an argon oil treatment restores strength and mega shine to hair okay good just want to make sure that this is a hair product and not like a treatment mask for your face or something so we got a hair product which is always great i love little masks for your hair then we've got the facial peel then the anti-aging serum the body lotion so lots of like skin products right now and then Oh, I set it down over here. And then like the beauty, beauty product is this uh, little palette from Coastal Scents. So I think this is actually a pretty good box. So both of these boxes are $10 shipped. So you kind of have to factor in shipping to the value of these. And then also Birchbox sent the um, one year magazine subscription. So that's always really cool too. And this actually is a value to me because I send this card in, I get the magazines every month for a whole year. Um, and this is great. Like this, sometimes the boxes send in, you know, like, $20 off a $50 purchase or something. To me, those have very minimal value, but this is just a straight up free subscription. So I think that's great. So if I had to compare Ipsy and Birchbox, they are actually extremely close. My favorite products, um, okay, my favorite product from Birchbox is probably the eyeshadow. That's really fun. I'm excited to like mix up my routine. So then my favorite Ipsy product is a little harder to pick. Um, I mean, the Benefit mascara is always great, but it was just in Birchbox in June. So it's a little back to back, like, I don't know, kind of be original. These two are definitely original. I'm excited about the lip stain because I think I just love how long lasting they are. And I, maybe I'll grow some lady balls and like try it on my cheeks this month. And then I always really like Bare Minerals products. I think that they go on really smooth and they look nice. And if this eyeshadow actually does last 12 hours without creasing, that'd be great. I don't, it's hard to choose a favorite. I don't know, who do you think won this? It's probably, it's probably Ipsy. Man, Birchbox came super close though super close yeah i think i gotta give it to ipsy this month guys even though ipsy gave me the tanning oil which is mm, and the skin cream mm, these products are pretty cool this is good this is worth it so very good boxes this month i thought i really liked them do you get a box do you get an ipsy or birch box what's your favorite product that either i received or you received and who was the winner in your opinion i thought it was a close call I gotta admit, I thought it was close. Ipsy probably 
inched out just a little bit but because I really like getting beauty products um, but I do appreciate the skincare products that Birchbox gave me because I think skincare is super important so I don't know tough one anyways thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you next month Bye. We've got this case, which is really great because we're going to be going on a road trip. And so I need like travel size stuff. And this is travel size stuff. So we've got a shampoo, a conditioner, a body wash, and then a sparkly body lotion. This is by Sparkle Hearts Natural Beauty for Girls.